Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the probability distributions, we are going ahead with the normal distribution. In this particular section, session, we are going to see everything about the normal distribution. The normal distribution was first discovered in 1733 by English mathematician De Morvey, who obtained this continuous distribution as a limiting case of binomial distribution and applied it to the problems arising in the game of chance. It was also known to Laplace no longer than 1774, but through a historical error, it was credited to Gauss, who first made reference to it at the beginning of the 19th century, 1809. As the distribution of errors in the astronomy, Gauss used the normal curve to describe the theory of accidental errors of measurements involved in the calculation of orbits of heavenly bodies. Throughout the 18th and 19th centuries, various efforts were made to establish the normal model as the underlying law ruling all continuous random variables, thus the name normal. These efforts, however, failed because of false premises. The normal model has nevertheless become the most important probability model in statistical analysis. So let us move ahead and uh, know everything about the normal distribution. Normal distribution is a continuous distribution. The limiting form of the binomial distribution for large values of n, p and q are not well very small. So exactly this is a binomial, it's a limiting case of the binomial distribution as I have told you previously also. Then the probability distribution has been defined as f of x is equal to 1 upon sigma into square root of 2 pi e to the power minus of x minus mu the whole square upon 2 sigma square wherein x and sigma, a, uh, x and mu they lies both of them lies between minus infinity to infinity wherein sigma square is greater than 0 where mu is mean sigma is standard deviation and then pi and e. Now, if you observe here, this is also can be written in this way that is x follows the normal distribution with mu and sigma square. So, in the particular normal distribution, if you observe here, you can say that this mu and sigma, they are known as the parameters for this particular distribution. So, sigma, uh, sigma square and mu, they are known as the parameters for normal distribution until and unless we are not aware of mu and sigma square, we will not be able to write this type of distribution, if, you, if you, we can't write down the distribution, we can't even evaluate the different questions. Similarly, probability lies between x1 and x2 can be written as integration of uh, integration from x1 to x2 of this function f of x. So, this is nothing but this particular integrand is same as the function given to you here in this case dx would be the probability of this particular, uh, you can say a point lies between x1 and x2. Now for a normal distribution, the mean, median and mode coincide because you can easily check this particular three steps mean, median and mode from this particular formula and you can get everything getting coincide to this particular mu. Now if we are substituting z is equals to x minus mu upon sigma, it gives us normal distribution with mu as 0 and sigma square as 1. That is f of z. So, if we we'll put, put this particular formula here over here in this particular formula here, then we can get it f of z is 1 upon square root of 2 pi e to the power minus 1 by 2 times z square, where mean is equals to mu is equals to 0 and standard deviation is equals to sd is equals to sigma is equals to 1. Now, this this particular distribution is known as standard form of normal distribution and we are going to use this type of this thing everywhere including the table is also give, been given to us as a standard form. Okay, now properties of a normal curve. Now this particular curve has been given to us as mu uh, y is equals to y0 e to the power minus of x square upon 2 sigma square. Now, if you observe here, this particular curve is of bell-shaped curve. Again, you can say that you can see here there are two different type of curves, which is giving you the, the blue color curve gives you the large standard deviation, low precision. Actually, this particular curve is measurement against the probability of measurement. So, this is what has been given to us by the scientist in the uh, past. Now, this particular blue curve is for large standard deviation, low 
precision wherein the small standard deviation and high precision will give you the red color curve which is on this particular value or at this particular value we will be having most probable values okay now curve is symmetrical about the y axis if you observe here this this is a curve which is symmetrical about the y axis then mean median and mode coincide at the origin curve can be drawn if mean origin of x and the standard deviation are given that is the reason mu and you can say a standard deviation they are known as the parameters for the curve or for the distribution value of y0 can be calculated from the fact that area of the curve must be equal to the total number of observations y decreases rapidly as x increases numerically and curve extends to infinity on either side of the origin and the x axis is an asymptote to the curve now what do you mean by asymptote means this particular curve would be a, this uh, this uh, x axis is a normal to this curve but it will never never intersect to the given curve now if you'll observe the area under the curve area under the curve of this type of um, distribution we can say here or we can understand this curve is nothing but if you observe here there is a mu over here the total probability is 99% actually it is a exactly 100% always but because this curve this curve is or you can say x axis is an asymptote for this particular curve the curve or you can say this curve will never intersect to the x axis and this is known as 100% wherein if you observe the area point let us let us let me just go ahead here so probability mu minus sigma is less than x is mu plus sigma is equals to 0.6800 that means if you observe this part here in this part here mu plus mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma the area of the particular curve is nothing but 0.68 or 68% of the area is lying between these two points mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma similarly if you observe here the probability of mu minus 2 sigma is less than x is less than mu plus 2 sigma is equals to 0 0.95 0.9550 that is 95 percent of the area is lying between mu minus 2 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma that is out of 100 percent almost 95 percent lies between these two points mu minus 2 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma and if you observe here the probability mu minus 3 sigma is less than x is less than mu plus 3 sigma is equals to 0 0.9970 that is 99 percent of the area of this particular curve is lying between this points mu minus 3 sigma to mu plus 3 sigma that means this is nothing but the area and you can easily check that the maximum area is uh, around this particular center of the uh, curve or you can say here around this mean of the distribution actually this is the point this particular point is the point or you can say here here this is the point where the mean is equals to median is equals to mode of the distribution lies in this case this is the beauty of this particular curve and this and because of this particular fact we have to have almost most of the area or most of the points will lie around the point mean of the distribution okay important points to note let me explain you this figure using this one suppose we have got two different curves n with mu and sigma square sigma 1 and uh, n or uh, a variable which follow follows the two distribution like one is sd is different or you can say sigma 1 and sigma 2 where sigma 1 is greater than sigma 2 so obviously you are going to get this type of curve this is the curve which is for this one and this is the curve for this one sigma 2 where sigma 2 is great, uh, the less than the sigma 1 so this okay let me let me explain you with this the graph is concave uh, downward at x is equals to mu and it is concave upward for the large numerical value of x now the points at which the concavity changes is called the point of inflection of the curve and can be find can be found by solving the equation y double dash is equals to 0 that is f double dash of 0 is x f double dash of x is equals to 0 
the points of inflection of the normal probability curve occur at x is equal to mu plus or minus sigma that is at the point which are at the distance of sigma on either side of x is equal to mu so that is what we have seen in the last case also that is this uh, these are known as a point of inflection if sigma is relatively large the curve tends to be flat while sigma is small the curve tends to be picked so if you will observe here this is a sigma 2 curve or you can say the mu 1 sigma 2 wherein this is a little pick point because uh, than this particular flattened curve because of this fact that is sigma 1 is greater than sigma 2 this is what is the different property very important distribution we are going ahead with and I am giving you all these properties all these different points as a background or as a ground for solving the different type of questions might be of descriptive question or might be of the MCQ question which you are going to face in your uh, extracurricular examinations and the stiffness of the curve is determined by sigma of obviously this is what this particular sigma 1 and sigma 2 uh, gives us this impression over here now properties of normal distribution because x follows the normal with mu sigma square if x follows normal distribution with mu sigma square then expectation of x is equals to mu and variance of x is equals to sigma square for the normal distribution mean median and mode will be uh, coincide or they are equal central movements of the normal distribution n uh, mu with sigma square actually it's a square here please note this down recurrence relation for the even order central movements of the normal distribution that is mu 2 n upon mu 2 n minus 2 is equals to 2 sigma square into n minus 1 by 2 so we are going to go ahead with the different top type of questions but yes these are the things you need to note it down for the mcq type of questions as well now mean deviation about the mean of normal distribution is 4 pi 5 times sigma approximately and moment generating function of normal distribution or standard normal distribution is given to us as m z t is equals to e to the power t z is equals to e to the power t square by 2 wherein the moment generating function for the normal distribution with mu and sigma square it has been given to us as e to the power t mu plus sigma square t upon 2 and additive property this is very important property which we are going to go ahead with the different type of questions based on this if x i is i is from 1 to n b n independent normal random variables with mu mu i and sigma the variance is sigma i square then summation of a i x i n is from 1 to n is also a normal random variable with mean mean for the mean we have the summation of a i mu i i is moving from 1 to n and wherein the variance is nothing but summation of a i square mu i square up from 1 to n so we have will be different will be solving different type of question based on the properties now importance of normal distribution actually normal distribution plays a very important role in the statistical theory a large number of random variables such as binomial or a poison occurring in many application have a distribution closely resembling the normal distribution many of the distributions of sample statistics such as sample mean and sample variance uh, tend to normality for the samples of large size in particular the sampling distribution in particular the sampling distribution uh, like students t Snedder's f and chi square distribution tend to normality when the size of a sample is large so these are having very very different applications in the field of statistics or the, in the field of the chance Test of significance for small samples are based on the assumption that samples have been drawn from normal population. Even if a, a variable is not normally distributed, it can sometimes be converted into a normal variable by simple transformation of variables. And this is this type of case is known as normalization of a data. Normal distribution is applied to a large extent in statistical quality control in the industry. So there are many more applications of normal distribution. The biggest or you can say the AI ML technologies we are most of the time we are going ahead with the normalization of the distribution and then only we are going to use our data 
to go for a further investigation related to it and taking out the inferences now w j uden in from 1900 uh, to 1971 from national bureau of standard describes the importance of the normal distribution artistically so the normal law of error stands out in the experience of mankind as the one of the uh, broadest generalizing generalizations of natural philosophy it serves as the guiding instrument in the research so if you observe here whatever he has written it it has been com coming up in a normal curve or it has been coming up in a standard so this is also one of the very uh, important thing the uran have done a uh, little bit artistically he has defined the distribution and standard normal table now what is it means we know that z equals to x minus mu upon sigma which follows the normal distribution with 0 comma 1 now this particular curve will gives us the the uh, you can say the feel that we will be having the area under the curve from always from 0 to the point now suppose we have got any point z over here we will be always getting the value of this particular area under the curve from 0 to that particular point 0 to that particular point and this has been given to us as this statistical table it's known as a standard normal table if you observe the the uh, columns and the rows over here it is the, in the, in the column suppose we are to, take, talking about the first column it is for the z the value of z which is 0.01 0.1 0.2 0.3 and so on till 3.4 observe the first value over here that is at the point 0 comma 0 so this value this particular value is at 0.00 this particular value is 0.0 now let us go ahead and check the next next value is 0.01 which is 0.0040 and in this way these are nothing but the probabilities from all this different type of z or different at the value of z and if you observe the last value over here which is at the point 3.4 and this is under the under the column of 0.09 this is this particular value is at 3.49 and if you observe here this is almost as the 0.5 point that means this particular curve is like it's a complete total as one uh, total probability as one because of this zero it is getting divided into 0.5 and it is divided into 0.5 so both the sides has been given to us as 0.5 and 0.5 and this is what is this that means what standard normal table is giving you the values all of them in the positive direction of z in the positive direction of z we are going to get it the values from this particular table now let us let us see one more value entries in the table gives the area under the curve between the mean and the z uh, standard deviation above the mean for example for z equals to 1.25 let us see that 1.2 so if i wanted to have 1.2 i have to take the column i have to go at 1.2 and under the table 0.05 so under this here column under this column here under 0.05 so if we'll observe here we can have this particular value 0.3944 is the value the area under the curve between the mean 0 and the z is 0.3944 so this is what is the value and it is it can be shown in the uh, in the mathematical way as probability 0 is less than z is less than 1.25 which is nothing but 0.3944 so we are always starting in the standard normal table the values are always from 0 to the particular z over here so these are nothing but the probabilities given to us in the standard normal table and we are going to use the standard normal table for uh, solving the different type of examples yeah i hope you have understood everything about the normal distribution please do connect it stay tuned to the uh, channel and upcoming session which is based on the different type of examples whatever the properties we have seen so far of the normal distribution thank you so much happy learning